That is so nice to peel off, look. It just comes off. I'm back, bitches! Oh, what are you saying? I bet you guys miss me. You miss me? Oh, I bet you. I know it. I've been uploading about 12 days or something. Literally, one of my most longest times not uploading. For the past week, I've had no excuse to upload, other than I'm waiting on a new camera, and that's fucking it. I've just wanted this new fucking camera, and it's not arrived yet. Might have got scammed. I don't know. Anyway, back to the video, right. Uh, when I got out of work at 10, I actually got a, tr uh, a notification from Yodel saying that my parcel was in on the way today. And then basically when I got home, the doorbell rung and I got a bug. Where'd it go? Oh shit, there it is. Oh yeah. So the thing inside this box, which is Plasti Dip, is a product that I've wanted to try for a while now. Plasti dip, right? This is basically removable spray paint, if that's what you want to call it. You can basically peel this off if you do it correctly. But yeah, I've wanted to try this out on my car for a while because there are chrome bits on my car and I think, I I've always wondered what they look like if they were black, right? But it's simple things like the, you know what, let me show you. So basically, these bits I want to turn uh, black or spray paint them or plasti dip them and also the um, course of it 1.2 and on the front we've got the front fog light chrome bit and also maybe even this front grille which looks sick already I want to turn this from a sexy car to a more sexy car or even maybe these bits that would look sick I don't think any of the emblems or the front grille needs changing but if it looks sick I'm keeping it and if it doesn't look sick, I'm peeling it off. So yeah, without further ado, let's first get all the equipment we need to do this. I'm acting like this is a massive job. It's not a massive job. And then we will actually start because apparently this takes a while. So to do this plasti dip, right? Look at that, cool little angle, right? What we're gonna need is we're gonna need tissues, firstly to clean and wipe down the car or the surfaces. We're gonna need masking tape. Lovely, cheeky bit of that. We're also going to need plastic bags and a few of them to cover the bits we don't want to basically clean. So the first thing that I want to do, I want to turn my car the other way around and basically work on the front first. So yeah, obviously the bits we're going to be working on are these chrome little fog light accent bits. And I'm not sure if we're going to actually do the grill at the front. As you can see right now, it's quite dirty. So we're going to clean that off. We've got some spray over here and we're going to clean that off, dry it. Shiny. Okay, so I've done all the masking on the car. Now I've left a little bit because apparently you, you like need to leave a little bit. For the spraying bit of the video, I literally did, I just concentrated on making sure I sprayed this correctly and stuff. After each coat, I had to leave it for 10 minutes, or I think I left it for 15 minutes, but then I just got so bloody bored of waiting. Like, just look at me. So while I was waiting, I actually read online that you should do like maybe, si I think it was five to seven coats. And I did approximately six, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but after six coats, I just left it to dry. It has been about four hours since I sprayed my car. But yeah, the Plasti Dip took four fucking hours to cure or properly set, you know? So obviously right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down to the car, peel off all of the tape and the bags, and we're gonna see if the bags are on first because they might not be. So because it was about to rain, obviously, because it's so, there was grey clouds everywhere. I put bags over it. It's not actually touching it. It's just over it, just in case there was. Because like, I didn't want any liquid going on it. But luckily it didn't rain. Let's start ripping all these plastic bags off. And seeing if it 
Nice. Mate, this is going to look so peng if it isn't. My mum will be so proud of me. She'll give me very good ramen noodle. That is so nice to peel off, look. It just comes off. The thing is, I'm not even cutting it or anything. But it just comes off the edge. Look at that. Oh. 50, br 50 plus brake horsepower on this. A few moments later. Look at that. Wait, let's get a step back. It doesn't stand, the fog lights don't stand out as much now, but jeez. They're quite easy to do, you just gotta take your time basically and be careful. All right, let's start on this one. One problem down here, as you guys can see. I was trying to pull it away and this bit was stuck to like a bit up here. So obviously it's pulling in, obviously left at that there. But obviously you can't see that from a far distance and that looks fucking sick. So about a day later, me and my girlfriend did all of the badges on the back of the car. And then a day after, I did the wheels, the we the badges on the wheels. Because I thought, this needs to be completely de -chromed. Now, as you guys can see on the logo, you can see that it's got little bits of cutaways in it. So that meant you had to peel it off. You could leave it black, but I decided to peel it off. And the, the way I did that is I literally just got a toothpick, pulled... Like, tried to do it very carefully and pulled all of the plastic dip away from the the sides of the indent. Basically worked my way around and it worked so good. So basically everything on the car that was chrome, I was plastic dipped. And yeah. Now I have actually had a few problems with plastic dip. Like, I had to literally get nail cutters because the thing was drip, like, attached to the bag. Well, I had to cut the plastic dip so that it wouldn't be touching the bag anymore. One, the front grille had like a scratching or dent, which is not a bloody good thing, right? And I had to actually completely redo the front like grill bit because the tape that I stuck on was too close to the plastic dip where it actually like just ripped it off completely. So it was, it was, a, it was a goner by then. And just to show you guys how easy this shit is and satisfying this is to pull off. Oh my God, this is sexual. Play some sexy music. You guys gotta let me know what you like better. Do you like it chromed or do you like it black? Partly, there are some things which are, there are some emblems that I like to keep chrome, but I'll show you guys that now. So then, let's go look at my kind of de chromed car. Anything you need, a provider. Bad B and designer. I took a couple L. Alright, so here is the car. And look, as you guys can see, these were all chrome, and now they are all black. This emblem right here, or these three, I actually like it chrome because there's like brown bits around the lettering which makes it look so ugly. Next thing I chromed out is the fog lights, as you guys can see, and then you've got the front grille. And lastly, what I chromed is the actual badge on the wheels. I think the wheels look so sick when they're chrome, without the chrome bits as well. So that is me plastic dipping my car. I've actually used up the whole thing. The whole thing is fucking gone from all of that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you have got to the end of this video, comment, friends. And I'll subscribe to the first two people who do that. That is a wrap from me with my d Chrome Corsa. Here's a little overview. We'll get back. Anyway guys, I will see you in my next video.